Hello everyone, my name is Maxon. Welcome to the second part of my EU4 Aragon Let's Play. So in the first part, the first videos, I'd gotten up to the year of 1557. So if you haven't checked those out yet, you may want to uh, do that before watching the rest of this Let's Play. There's a link here in the annotations as well as the comment section and this video's notes. So for the second part of this Let's Play, I'm going to be playing with exactly the same options I did in the first, the hardest difficulty settings. And I'm going to be trying to conquer as much as the much of the world as possible. Uh, but I have certain aims in mind that I'm going to be trying to achieve first. In the first part of this Let's Play, of course, I completed the challenge I'd set myself. That was a Lord of the Rings inspired uh, missions challenge. That was to take Armor and the province of uh, Gonda down here. So for the rest of this Let's Play, I've already conquered and colonized quite a bit of the area around the Caribbean. So I'm intent on finishing the job, colonizing more of the territories that flow into the Caribbean to maximize my trade. Aragon, of course, are very good, have very good trade related ideas. Uh, that's going to help uh, out with that a lot. Uh, so I've already started wars against the Maya and the Zapotec. And I tend on to clear war on the Aztec and the Apache in this video as well. So I could have about five or six wars potentially going on in this video. From uh, colonizing and taking territories in this area though, I intend on colonizing into uh, East Asia, the Philippines, Australia and perhaps uh, Malaysia for example. In Africa, I intend on colonizing more here as well and conquering territories in the Ivory Coast region, uh, Mali, Kanembono, Oyo for example. In the east of Africa, I've already vassaled up the Mamluks and intend on taking uh, territories that they formerly owned as well back from the Ottomans and conquering territories in Alexandria and Gulf of Aden trade nodes. There's uh, the province of Mecca which would, would be uh, very useful to own that was a completed triggered modifier which would give me an extra missionary and prestige. In Europe I intend on finishing conquering France and releasing Burgundy. Burgundy have a lot of cores that I could uh, get back for them uh, before Diplo annexing them. Also the Lowlands have uh, worked a lot of uh, Burgundian provinces at the start of the game so I could get those back to them potentially. I'd like to get Castile or Portugal into a personal union, perhaps we have the same dynasty. If I can't do that though, I'll probably just try and conquer a lot of uh, Castile's coastline to stop them from colonizing anymore. Uh, my very long term aims in Europe are to loop the territory around the Mediterranean to uh, connect with Africa and Asia. Currently. In Africa, I get a lot of a less uh, amounts of tax that, and manpower that I would have if it wasn't counted as overseas. So that would be great to loop my territory to get rid of those uh, penalties. Okay, so that's quite a lot to do. So I should uh, definitely get started. So let's stick these things back on. I've got three wars going on at the moment. This war I'm not going to be getting involved in. That's uh, just a war that Austria started or got involved in. And the main conflicts for this video are going to be over in the New World. Uh, I think I'm going to get a couple of my diplomats back. I don't need them in Portugal or the Kielware either, I think. So, get those back. And apart from that, I think we're okay. Right, so, put time down for a second. Uh, so, Melchi, what are they off to? Um, it's a rebellion going down in East Africa, which I have to deal with. I think I've got fleets uh, coming over there, unless the Mamluks help me out. Um, right, so this army... Do the Zapotec have troops? Yes, they do. Right, so I'm trying to kill those off before starting to siege, I think. Got to declare war on the Aztecs and the Apache as well uh, at some point in this video. Uh, so far, I have a new government type. Timer up. Uh, right. Okay, we've got a diplomat back. I'm thinking about declaring war on Orleans. Problem is, they're actually allied to Austria. Now, I think I may be able to declare war on them without Austria getting in, getting involved, as long as this war is continuing. But I'm not sure. But first things first, I think I need to make a claim. 
Uh, my aggressive expansion in Europe is starting to mount up a bit. So it's a bit of a concern to me. I'm going to make these a rival as well. Uh, something which I've realised as well. There seems to be a bug with the rivals. So it's not actually costing you 10 Diplo points to change them or remove them. Um, I'm going to take that one off. So watch there. 2 to 6. Still. 2 to 6. Uh, that seems to be introduced in the 1.5 uh, one patch or 1.5. They're changing how rivals work in 1.6 though, so I think it's going to be a completely different system entirely. Uh, unless they decide to change their minds again. Right, so that's really high. I'm going to wait a day to see if it lowers. I have to wait a month here. Wow. Um. Do I want to do that? The thing is, this is uh, got a French core on it. And I can't really get. There's no way I can really get round this. I, I could vassal them up, but I don't really want more vassals, especially not a one province vassal. I'd rather core it up at 100% extra cost. I think. Yeah, right. Let's make this claim then. Okay, and next diplomat's back. I think I'm going to get the one back from Milan. It should be quicker than that. And I might declare war straight away. There's a risk here that this war would end. And Orleans would uh, ask Austria to join in the war. Um, they've got two months to do so. Uh, but they sh Austria shouldn't get involved in this war in theory. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. It's because we're on the same side they shouldn't get involved. That was that. I'm not sure if I want to take this yet. I think I probably should take it. Um, yeah, I th I will take it because it gives you a tiny bit extra in settlers. There's a revoke. Oh, here it is. Colonial restrictions. Um, this is related to that one, I think. So but it's going to be a while before I'm. I'm going to be colonising so much that I might as well make use of the colonial expansion, I think, so I'll take that now. Right. And pause. Uh, right, so Guatemala. Let's find these Zapotecs. Mayans back. Right, let's kill his Mayans off, actually. Okay, French Libya. Portugal's got a huge army down here still. I don't know why the Mamluks aren't helping me out here. I've got no idea why. Um, how many leaders do I have? Two. Right. Okay, so this fleet can come back to Europe. I want to grab some more troops to bring over to the New World. And, right, that diplomat's back in three days. Right, let's do this then. Let's declare war on all and A. I should show you the this as well. See what uh, aggressive expansions like. I should well. There might be one or two nations that get involved. Olone is Protestant, so that's going to affect the Protestant nations more. Um, like Milan might join in the coalition. England doesn't have any aggressive expansion with me, so they shouldn't join. I'd have to be a bit careful. After I've uh, finished off the New World, the Mexican region, then attacking France is going to be my main aim. Reason why I want to take this now, I should probably mention as well. I'm probably going to release Normandy at some point. Now, Normandy's capital is almost definitely going to be there. So I wouldn't be able to make a claim on them to get into a war. Because you can't do that on their capital. Because they'd have two provinces. So, I need to really take all on A and take that province in the next war against France. Then I could make claims on Cow, which would Normandy would hold. Intended on releasing Normandy. Um, so that's basically why I want to take this now or otherwise I'd have to take both of these territories but I wouldn't be able to make a claim on that um, in the war coming up against France right so diplomats free um, right, I have to wait until the 14th of August okay excellent fucked up the Mayans um, Right, the Caribbean troops are coming out to help, that's great. I'm going to let my colonial nations do most of the sieging, I think, here. I'll just wipe up the armies, at least for the time being. 
Right, it's the 14th, wasn't it, I think? Okay, now if Austria makes... Oh, actually, that's gone down that amount, is, so it's unlikely that peace is going to happen quite yet, hopefully. But if Austria makes peace within two months here, then I could be in trouble. Right, so... Do I want to call in Poland or Portugal? The thing is, if they dishonoured this, then, which they might... I think I should call them in anyway. If somehow I do end up in a war against Austria, I'm going to need these, so... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Declare war. Probably won't join. Um, right. Now Austria can't join because I'm in an alliance in the same war with them. That's what I believe. Right, so attack here. I could also, also use that trick against HRE nations potentially, but um, uh, at the moment I've got too much aggressive expansion in that area to be doing that, I think. Right, so. Uh, Portugal joined, Poland probably didn't, though they said they were going to. Right, so how's relations with Austria? Really important, I keep them as an ally for quite a while, yeah. Right, so that worked out great. Uh, right, so we've reached Zap Attack. So that's four wars on the go now. Right, their military attack is four. Should have easily enough. Uh, should be able to beat them easily enough. Right, gauge the enemy. Where was that? Like in Europe, is it? Ooh. Ethiopia no longer exists. The funds just annexed them. Were they. I think they were probably still in a coalition against me, so. Yeah, that means no one's in a coalition against me anymore. Because uh, France was only rivaled with me and they were the only outraged member. So, that's good at least, I think. Okay, diplomat return from Orleans. Right, with this diplomat, I need to... I'm going to stick this back in Milan. Because I don't want them joining the coalition against me or forming one. So relations, relations, send. I probably not massively focus on taking Milan's territory because it's all in the Venetian node as well now, which um, I can't really get trade money from easily. Probably will move my capital at some point, but I'm not sure where yet. Maybe Bordeaux. Um, Okay, France got themselves into a war in Italy. Peace in Venice, right. Uh, Milan's got involved in that as well. Okay, right, so my fleet's back. I should be okay. Uh, attrition wise, to take these over to the New World, so I'll do that now. Um, now over to Humana. Where's my army down here? I'll put those to there. Then I'll put a leader on once it's finished in Europe. Okay. I'm actually retreating. I'll detach siege. Actually, it's the army. Uh, cannon. I don't know what the fort level was. Cav. Fort level 3 actually. Right. Uh, right, so we've defeated them. Any missions at the moment? Not really. Okay, so mines have a thousand, the Zapotec have zero, this army can um, to there, a day. Okay, um, 
put in Barry. Right. Now, when's this colony done? Right, Lipan's got ages to go, so that's what I've got to time all this uh, wars going on here, right, correctly. So there, I basically annex them just before the colony finishes. That's what I'm trying to do. Right, so uh, that army can wait a day to get the general out. Conquist the door out. They can go back there. And he can go there. Right. Time back up. My admin's getting quite high, but uh, I'm gonna be gonna need a ton to core this in a bit. So how much will I need anyway? A lot. A very lot actually. But um yeah, the only way I could get around that is by vassaling the, the map, and they're only one province, so it's probably not worthwhile. Okay, right. new discoveries. Uh, Tuscany changes the government once again. It's got to be a bug. They change that government so many times now. Um, right, diplomats back. Right, so who am I going to work on over here? I don't think I'll attack the Aztec quite yet, but I probably will in a bit. Right, so... And that claim still going on against all the So I'm not going to annex them until that's finished. Um, right, so Protestant nations, Milan, Switzerland, what's the relations like there? Good, actually, so I don't need to do anything about that. Um, Baden... They're quite low. Might want to work on Baden because they're going to be potentially joining the coalition. How much is that? On the button. Yeah, right, I need to work on them. Are they going to join? Right, so. Revelations there. Uh, conversion successful. Um. Venice is a potential enemy of mine as well, so I think I'll accept that access. For now at least. Um, what was else that I've forgotten? Oh, my inflation is quite high, I need to reduce that, so I'll do that now. Right. What happened then? Sure, something happened. I'd have forgotten about it. Um, oh, is this troops reached there? No, nope, not yet. Uh, gauge enemy in Gonda. Excellent. Looting expired. Uh, we found the last of um, mine region. Right, this army can. Oh, come up to Libya. I've remembered what I've forgotten about now. Right, missionary. Right, so a missionary, where am I going to send to? Um, just do the cheapest, is it? Navarra. Okay. And wait a day. They can move back to Libya. Not really up there, actually. Uh, is there any rebellions going on anywhere? Palmer, Chavalet. Um, might need an army in Africa actually. Put it to there. Right. Uh, turn that down. Uh, right, so we've taken some territory there. Um, it's a conquistador there. Yeah. Uh, I think I should probably start to split up a tiny bit. How many territories do they have? Maybe I should attack the Aztecs in seven days time actually. Um, I think I probably will. Right, so diplomat arrived back. Let's attack the Aztecs. Right, 
Club War, Colonial CP. Right. Is there any mission to relate to that? No. Okay, get your enemy. Find out what's up here. Uh, do I have any troops? Four thousand left. Okay, right. So my war tax is in place as well. It doesn't tell you when your war taxes end at the moment, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, right, it's got a year left on it. Okay. Them out. Go to there still. Uh, right. They reach there. Those troops can. Um, should probably bring them over actually. To there. Uh, what shield? I've got a feeling that I'm going to finish these wars a long time before that gets done. So I may actually move my settler back there now in a minute to speed it up. Um, I can recall that one there. Where's the other one? Here, is it? Yeah, I'll call that one. Okay. That shipbuilding boom. To figure out what to spend my money on a bit. Uh, right, this army which there, they can come up to there. Fleet can come back down to there. Okay, get your enemy. Damn it! Agent was discovered. That's going to cause a ton of aggressive expansion in Europe. Um, What's the force limits like? I could be building more ships than that. Um, right. And Oriental. I think I'll figure out what I'm going to spend my money on in the next video. By the next video. A uh, piece offer from Sabatech. Going to turn that down. Um, right, they can heal up there. Come move to there. Actually, leader died. Which one was he? That one. Um, that's a bit of an issue. I should. Um, do I need another leader? Maybe, but I don't think I'll hire one quite yet. Actually. Diplomats back. Discoveries. I shall go up there. Right, so I think with this diplomat, I need to uh, work on the aggressive expansion again. So it's after 15. That caused that claim caused some of England. That's not good. Um, Right, so these nations, 28. Milan we're already working on. Genoa. It's not bad. It's my territory. Ferrara. Um, I'm going to work on one of these nations, just in case of which one. Venice, maybe? Because it's probably the strongest nation in the area. Right, so, improve relation, Zen. Right. Uh, I've won that. What rebellion is that? Um, I don't want to take too much territories too soon, or I'll get a call for peace. 
I'd have to end the war, so I'm probably not going to split up here, I think. I should keep that army there for the time being. Um, right. How long has that got? That's 518. Oh, that's set. Let's back. I'm going to put him here now, then. Right, send. It's 88 per year, and that will increase that by quite a bit as well. So I need to keep an eye on it. Um, right, so reached there. Let's stay there. Okay. Uh, trading cocoa. Right, just gonna check the time a second. Okay, right, carry on for a bit. Looks like Spain's got troops there as well. Um, right. I vote in Avignon. Right, it's gonna have to wait until that siege is done now, unless Portugal wants to help me out. Uh, Austria made peace of Denmark. Now I believe it's long gone the two month amount for them to get involved in that war. So it should be okay here. Um, right. Uh, level 3 traders available. Trade embargoes, not good. Um, I'll probably wait a while before I declare war on the Apache. Um, Looks like they're getting pretty sieged up now, so I may end up having a call for peace there relatively soon. Uh, I'm going to turn that down. Our new emperor. If I have a call for peace, I could make peace, but I really don't want to go over my overextension amount. Wow. Um. Yeah, I've got quite a few getting done still there. One of them's nearly done. Right. And happiness among the peasantry. Uh, gain 10 prestige, lose money. Right, I'll take the money hit because I don't want the stability hit. Turn that down. Right. Split discoveries. Native attack. When's the siege getting done? Pretty soon. Switzerland got a new ally. Okay, that siege is done. Onto there. Boundary disputes. Ooh. Uh, got a gauge enemy there. Look at Maine. Um, yeah, obviously take that one. But that, I could potentially use that claim in a war. Might be worthwhile taking. That's the territory I want to claim on, really, though. Right. Mines are nearly all siege up. That's not good for me, actually. Um, turn it down. That down. Uh, right. Oh, that's not good. Right. So they just Britain just declared war on Aztec. That means I probably need to get them sieged up quickly. Um, which means it's going to be a call for peace pretty soon, probably. Uh, if I do siege them all up. Um, I think I need to get that territory sieged. Britain probably wouldn't take territory if they don't have coastal access. So I split that in half. Put that there. And I don't think I'll siege up the rest yet. It doesn't really matter if um, Britain sieges up that theory. And I'm not even sure they'd have access either, to be honest. Right, so... Loot it expired. Uh, claim finished in all, all on A. Uh, gonna turn it down. Okay. I was worried then. I thought the Ottomans had declared war on me again, but haven't. Um, 
have no idea how big a melchie they have these days. Let's have a look. Uh, force limits. Rush is huge now. Yeah, Ottoman's a uh, heck of a lot weaker than they used to be. They had 200,000 odd troops at one point. Okay. Alright, so diplomats back from Orlane. I'll keep that around to make peace, I think. Uh, that's nearly taken now. Alright, uh, lost the claim. I'll just see it. No big deal. I want someone to take uh, Algeria's territory, otherwise I'd get that. Um, Maghreb, Coring Cost modifier against me. Um, right. Maybe I should split this up and go after them. No, I'll have to go away. Uh, Belize is under siege. Peasants. Let my guys sort out that in a bit. Naval Reformer. Zaptec siege is done. I should probably move on there. How long is that? 601. I can turn my colonial maintenance down if I have to to slow that down. Um, right, turn that down. When I do make peace with all these, I need to get my diplomats back or enough diplomats to do it at the same time. Uh, Inca just lo lost a ton of territory. Steel, not good. Much I could have done about that. That's back. Volts in Gafsa. Uh, that can go to there. Hopefully Mamluks would deal with it though. I don't know why Mamluks aren't helping me out. Okay. Is the siege going to get done ever? Uh, France made piece of France. Right, so uh, Venice has lost territory to Brescia, um, Milan I should say, that's about it I think. Turn it down, 2%. Right, so I was waiting until that siege had gotten done before I ended the video, but I think I'll end it here, it's probably been about half an hour. So if you've enjoyed any of these videos, then please remember to give them a like, it really helps me out and I'm really grateful to those of you who do that. Uh, so in the next video, I'll basically be continuing these wars and then uh, be looking to declare war in Europe again. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.